I go bump in the night. What the Jesus? Me, a jerk. Shh, <laughs> <Sandy. laughs> Shrunken head, broken legs, body parts on the concrete. Cut them up, butcher style, gators in the swamp. Red light, leave them dead, running like a track meet. Scared of nobody, what you know who I am. Want. Give any idea who you're talking to. Man, or maybe you saw me in the play out time. I played for the fucking the goddamn of champions. Well, fan cooking meat, cannibal trying to eat. Uh, I got a zombie on me, and you can't harm me. Hey, yeah, watch it. Your voodoo, yeah. bitch. Drink blood like a vampire without warning. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Stand up. Sam B got the thing that go bump in the night. Whoa. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Hide your kids, grab your wife, better get out of sight. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Let's go. Sam B to Papa Shango, I'm bearing some maybe. Handful of fingertips, toss them up like confetti. Stay full of corpse bitches, I'm a pimp of the dead. Come fuck with a Another zombie, drunk put a stick in your head. You want ghouls like a fucking Stupid school. Get. Maybe everybody dies and see your ass real soon. Crack bones to the mirror, hot sauce, and they suck it. Now my juju ain't nothing to fuck. Sir, looks like you've had enough. What's your room number? I'll make sure you get there safe and sound. That go bump in the night. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Hide your kids, grab your wife, better get out of sight. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Let's go. Excuse me, lady. Are you okay? Uh, can you hear me? What are you doing, sir? Cut this is the woman's restroom. I got a zombie on Sandy. You can't harm me. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Excuse me, sir. Are you okay? Who do you voodoo, bitch? Arms off with my bare hand. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Smack it, mama. Who do you voodoo, bitch? I hate rich assholes, which is fucking ironic, since I'm expected to put my bloody life on the line for them. That's what they pay me for, this pricey hotel here. To be a bodyguard for the rich and famous fuckwits who come to Benoit to blow their money. I used to be a cop, a bloody good one. A vice detective in Sydney. You know how many female half-Aborigine detectives there were before me? None. <laughs> you think it was easy? suffering the abuse of my so-called colleagues. Half of them hated me because I was a girl, and the other half didn't like the fact that my mum was a curry. So I came up the hard way. I busted my ass. It took me 12 years to make detective, and that still wasn't enough. It's an old boys club, you know? The whole justice system is a fucking joke. Teenage drug addicts get put away forever, and old white wankers who steal fucking millions get away scot-free. <laughs> One rich bugger I investigated was clearly molesting his 14-year-old daughter. But he had too much pull with the politicians, so I couldn't touch him. After the girl killed herself, I confronted him, but he just laughed at me. He pulled out a pistol and told me he could blow my bleeding head off and no one would care. Because I was nothing. A nobody. An abo bitch. So I fucking took his gun away and shot the bastard. It was self-defense, but I still got sacked. Twelve bloody years down the drain. Worst part is, I didn't even kill the son of a bitch. I just gelded him. One day, I'm gonna have to go back and finish the job. Maybe I'll find something useful.
Through the camera. Feeling all right, Mike? No shakes? Fever? Chills? Good. I'll introduce myself later. Right now, we gotta get you the hell out of there. Do exactly as I say, okay? You're gonna have to trust me. First, you need to get hold of a weapon. Search in the maintenance storage room by the end of the corridor. I would move if I were you. Now. I love surprises. We came to bash in your head in. What the hell Those is things wrong? came for us. It's Why don't you do something? To kill them alone. There's Why won't anyone help you him? You fucking do. You can't just let him die out there. He saved your life. You owe him your life. You going out there? Are you nuts? You're not gonna help. Us. Get the hell out of the way. You at least have a weapon. You need to find a weapon. Let him die. All right, this is fucking crazy. On three, one, two, fuck it, three. one okay then thanks mates are you there hello can you hear me Shit. hello we were just attacked listen your friend from the hotel's awake you were right about him being immune to this thing if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. Maybe now we can hold out until help arrives. There is no help. This thing can't be stopped. I saw how it took my wife. You need to get out of there, and I can help you. I can arrange for transportation. By air, by sea, but first you need to get here. To me. I have many sick and injured here, mate. They're crazy with fear. Tell me where you are. Where are you? You there, mate? Hello? Hello? Oh, God damn it. 
We didn't think you were gonna make it. You kill them all? Get the hang of this. Name's John Cinnamoy. I'm the head lifeguard here. The voice on the radio told me you were in trouble at the hotel. Said you were resistant to whatever this is. I didn't believe it. But then I found you and I saw the bite marks. You got no symptoms, but <laughs> those aren't love bites, are they? Look, I don't know who you are or how you know that guy on the radio, but he's our only connection with the outside world. We keep losing the bloody signal. We have a monsoon coming. So here's the thing. We need to move everybody to the main lifeguard station. There's an ambulance there and more equipment and a stronger radio with an antenna. I hate to ask, but we can't do this without you. Will you help me? No thanks to you. All right. Good. First off, we need an access card to get past the security gate. Mine's in my room. With all the commotion, I forgot to take it with. It's in Bungalow 11, by the pools. Take a weapon and watch yourself. You may be immune, but I don't mean you can't die. <laughs>